There's more Dishonored Yin Yang run. And Mini is finishing up his right now. I just wanted to do intro over YouTube. For those of you who may not know what this is. Essentially, Mini and I are playing Dishonored one mission at a time. I'm doing a pacifist run, he's doing a genocide. I will go ahead and undefin and wait for him to raid me. Because we raid each other in between each one. Good, I mean, you just let me know when you're raiding. Er, no, you don't even have to let me know when you're raiding. I've got a notification system now. Yeah. There you go. Let me. Also, oh, there we go. Chat's up. There we are. Let me make sure I remember to press my button. It's done. Alright. All on you. Attention citizens. This evening, the streets adjacent to Pendleton Manor will be closed. Private ceremony following the tragic loss of two of our city's best and brightest. The Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton. All holdings and parliamentary votes now fall to Lord Trevor Pendleton, who asks for during this time of mourning. I swore there was a path on to the tower. Attention Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. There's a charm over there. No, I'm gonna go grab, gonna go grab that. Well, Minnie's got the new game plus all the bonus charms. I've only got one at this point. Oh, I need a key. I don't know if I find it. Behind these dice. Dark Vision is not. Corvo, this matter with my brothers has not been pleasant at all, so I do not wish to discuss it further. However, I must I really must thank you. I've heard that you found some other means of neutralizing them without taking their lives. Ingenious. Wherever they are, even if they are miserable, they are alive at least, so perhaps one day I will see them again. I doubt it. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Gorbo. It makes me feel better. A child. Sleep start. <laughs> Hello. 
I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Yeah, because your other two are dead. With air quotes. Royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before I've seen adults do, or rats. adult bodies be dissolved in 10 minutes. Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? In, in only a few seconds, it's really. the company you keep that interests us so long. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Hmm. I want to do this one because it fits the pacifist run, but I don't want to be out any money. Because I like my sleep darts. Ah, screw it, pacifist. Curious strategy. Of which I approve. I'll leave it to you. But if you get tired of questioning Sokolov, I'll let you know that his taste for King Street brandy is legendary. I think Piero has a bottle. It might help persuade him. If not... Attention Dunwall citizens, the Ascendancy Circle has chosen Teague Martin. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would, Would you, you rather I knock on that purchase? door you were looking in? Okay, I've got plenty of money. Attention Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished. By officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying. I could use a drink. King's. 
treat brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect with Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, I do. You're right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I knew Sokolov would see reason yeah, I, and tell us what we need to know. I don't see the point in doing that for me, but that's definitely... Because has essentially what the quest is, is you do it, and then you start up a duel. Well, with the guy. Like an old-timey duel. Are you waiting on someone, child? Consider seeing Piero before we set sail to the Grand Ball. Maybe need some potions or... Whatever you use. Don't worry. I've got... I've got... Yeah, it's Royal tonight. costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun. But not for everybody. You ready? <laughs> Let's go. I imagine being a... Being a royal guard. Or... And that Corvo knows the... Knows the standard rules of something like this. Regents pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. I, I will go ahead and state, I know the, the non-lethal oh, way to do this mission. I I didn't feel bad for the Pendletons. I, I will feel bad for Miss Boyle. This area is restricted to invited guests only by request of the local landowners. Unauthorized intruders will be expelled or apprehended on site. Yeah, 
yeah, this is an area map. This one is a lot less about actually sneaking around, it, and it's a lot more about you know, figuring out how to do it. So th this one will probably go much faster than the, than the previous one. Maddie, don't take it. Here we go. Invitation, please. Yeah, this one will probably go pretty quickly. Oh, yes. They're going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we're meant to guess another of their eccentric fancies. Right this way, I sir. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, maybe you should go home. I'll struggle on, once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you can give me. Shall we go eat? Look at that man. Another party Sick day. Sick bastard. It was fun for a season, but now? What is it tonight? Guess which is which. Their hair and makeup are identical. Yeah, there's the. Uh, but I have no the party's care indoors for indoors this time. Him this time. Because Hello. while like, well, there is a non-lethal way to deal with him, there is no real benefit to me of, for dealing with him. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a Marquis. Of course I don't mean you, but people are desperate, and the Boyles are awfully wealthy these days. Nonsense. Waverly just hires officers from the watch to impress people. You're upset. You? A gentleman? I'll have you know I'm as You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. All right. I remember if you give her a drink, she tells you which one is Miss Boyle. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Or which one is our target? Privately. Because there are three Miss Boyles here, all in different dresses, and you don't know which is which. Evening, sir. This guy, however, her gut, her knows, knows the first name of the one we're at. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight, and, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Lydia. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will Look, keep her safe with me. They, they changed Forever. the name of the target. Last time it was Waverly. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. What most people don't remember is, the rats came a half a year before the Empress died. And the plague, do. Are you sure? That's not how I remember it. If something caused this, it's not the Empress's passing. That's what they want you to think. Watch what you're saying. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this together. Excuse me. Made us an empire. This is the excuse me. Come and entertain me. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in white tonight. Perhaps she's pretending to be a virgin. Additionally, Lydia's in black. That's the one I want. 
But there is a special way I've got to go about this. Otherwise, I'm going to be fighting through everyone and they've got Ricardus claims he memorized the litany on the White Cliff in a night. Is it Ooh, possible? Scary yes, mask. Yes. No guests past this point. Hello, sir. Alright. That the, the guard up there eventually or occasionally comes down here. Gator, but they were attacking me. Yeah, how do I can do this? I gotta make sure I don't get spotted. It won't take it. We won't do it according to the strategy, but they get in the panic room, boom, just throw a grenade at them. In the panic room? Yeah. yeah. I've never gotten to the point where they've gone into the panic room. Well, no, they're, go they're going to be going in the panic room on this one, so...
us up here guarding an empty hallway. What does that mean to you? Relax. We're just the reserves. In case what? Lady Boyle tries to shake down one of her guests? It's something else. You can feel it at the party, though. Everyone's nervous. Something's coming. I wish it were Marcy. Just stay alert. Maybe Minnie will commit the arson that you're wishing for. Yeah, Minnie, this is the panic. Or this is their panic. And the switches opens up, up those doors, so I can now go in here. Go ahead and look at that. So if you just, like... Yeah, if they get alerted and you don't get them right away, they go in there, you're in all sort of huddle up. There's also an entrance right here. I was not doing the pacifist run, but just uh, trying to do the non-lethal. My strategy was simply throw a person off that, like throw an unconscious body off that bridge. That is definitely going to end in someone dying. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Chances are very Seem good. interesting. I Did love her mom on the back of me. You'll never believe this. What is it now? She had her jobber pick up a boy in the street. There. Yes, book. Oh, I wonder if that's how you how you get them, them alerted without 
because, because if they realize that the man who supposedly murdered the queen is here, Welcome to the party. through someone just looking at the guest book, and they have no idea uh, uh, who it is, then people are going to enter a bit of a pan. I signed the guest book, so I'm waiting for someone to check and see that the name Corvo is on it. <laughs> is that actually what happens? I assume so. I'm currently trying to figure out how, how to alert them, or I was trying to figure out how to alert them without, you know, dropping the body off the bridge, because that's definitely going to kill someone. Friends, Mini. talk to them. Yeah, I was, I was just, I thought, okay, yeah, I'll sign it real quick. Someone's going to end up checking it and see that the name Corvo is there. Corvo is nope. the man who supposedly killed the Empress. No, that just, like, uh, leaves a calling card. God, dies. So I'm gonna need to find one of the foils and, like, tell them, hey, I'm afraid someone in here is out for your life or something. Talk to the boil you need to. Yeah, yeah, essentially, yeah, just find the boil you need to get alone and tell her that. And then you're done. Yep. Well, if you want to kill all three of them at once, yes. and then, yeah, just, just open. Hit up the pan. Do you like, open up the two doors? Cause a panic. You're very clever. Now tell me yours. Save my life from what? Are you ill? So many choices tonight. Whom shall I pick? Do you dialogue her, right? Yeah, I, I told her that there's someone who wants to meet her in the cellar. Oh. Okay, move it along. Do you think the High Overseer will come? Oh, that would be such a bore. I don't think he's coming. He's got the Heretic's brand. Oh, and there's no one down here right now. That's perfect. Uh, oh, no, she like that guard's coming down. Was she like, is the Lord Overseer? The High Overseer. Things have become. Hey, crap. 
surprised. Uh, I love that she. Oh, she is in there. Fine. I said she had an invisible point first. You found her. Quickly, let's get her on board. Oh, she does actually. Last. Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. Yeah, you guys can probably guess that what this guy is going to do. I do feel bad for her, her at least. Have not felt bad for, or did not feel bad for the high overseer. Definitely didn't feel bad for the Pendletons. Did feel bad for her. Yeah, because it's less about sneaking around and more figure out who your target is and, and just get out and get, get rid of them immediately. Yeah, but still. You have it done. Oh, and this doesn't alert anyone, so I can just walk right out. I think I got spotted near. Yeah, I got spotted at the very beginning because I, I was one. I would take a risk, and it didn't pay off. But damn. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Yes. Where's the exit? I guess they could technically just teleport you out. You couldn't but... stand the party either. Teleport over the fence. As the game calls them tall boys. I like to call them. I think Walker spits them better, and that's yeah, what Vinny first nice. called them to me, though. So. Yeah, you, you first called them Walkers. Because essentially, they're walking turrets. I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Let's go. Oh, it was fast. One unconscious body found. Huh. Oh, right, yeah.
let's go ahead and get to a point where I can save and then we'll go raid Minnie and see how he does in the party. I wonder if he can do it in sub 40. Hmm. Lord Pendleton said he would beat us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. By the way, make sure you make sure you do you kill oh, the guy who Pendleton wanted you to kill. Mm -hmm. Or want wanted us to go duel with at least. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me go ahead and save. And, and I'm going to go raid Minnie. Yeah, as as he starts his run. We'll see <clears throat> if he can beat mine in a it, which he probably can, but I doubt he can do it without spoiling the party like I could. <laughs> no, no, you definitely can. Just he can't hit all three at once without spoiling the party. Fair. Which I I feel like that kind of I I feel like that would be fun for you. Just as kill someone up on top, throw them off the bridge. And then just drop a grenade on all three. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and raid Mini real quick. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Raid now. <laughs> 